Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2! Uh, right, so there's been a bit of a gap actually since I recorded the last one, so you may have to bear with me slightly as I get back into the sort of hang of things here. Um, <coughs> yeah, I've sort of been going through a like a retro, like say retro, sort of like a last gen game phase. So I've been going th through a few games like Gears of War and such on the Xbox in between uh, this episode and the last one. So I'm just sort of getting back into it. This plus, I just, like I said, I, I may have mentioned this in an earlier episode, but this is always going to be like a long term sort of project, I think. Uh, playing this game and doing commentary. Because I think the the the, the walkthrough I did without commentary goes on for about forty something forty three episodes parts. Um, Let's have some fun tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe just a little one. Great. No, don't do that. That makes the that makes the the, the, the mission icon disappear, doesn't it? Ah, oh, you, you prick, Dutch. All right, let's party. What was I talking about before Dutch interrupted me? That's right. Yes, um, I've completely lost again. Now. No, I said the uh, the walkthrough without commentary is like what forty three, and that was. That had episodes that lasted between an hour and two hours each, because I was like, I think I, was, like, I, think I live streamed it or something. Um, so yeah, this might be a bit longer than that, which is fine, I suppose, because each episode will have its own sort of contained parts, I guess, missions and stuff. Uh, this is gonna take a while. Fuck you, Sean. Fuck you. The gang is celebrating the safe return of Sean and will be unavailable for other activities for a while. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine right riding there. with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid. Old. So, it's, it's like for actors in terms of like like a live action movie of this game. I always pictured like um. Is it Dominic Gleeson? The guy who plays Hux in Star Wars. I always pictured him. He'd play like Sean if there was like a Red Dead movie. Pretty much looks like him. I'm sure he could do an Irish accent. He's a good actor. Don't know about anyone else though. I wonder if I'm gonna get like a... <laughs> I wonder if I'm gonna get like a copyright notice for the song being in the video. Not a copyright strike, but... Who was that? It's not singing. All right, enough of this. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do something else. What are you doing, Dutch? God, Dutch is such a rude bastard, isn't he? Interrupted me earlier when I was talking. Walks off, but I'm trying to chat to him. What a prick. Tell the difference between a y the difference between a sheep and a, a, a sheep and, and a man, then you, you, well you, the, you that makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words, all of you. Mark my words. How does that guy escape John Marston for so long in the original Red Dead? <laughs> he escapes Fort Mercer and just disappears. No idea how. 
Not after the, some of the bullshit I've heard him come up with in this game so far. Alright, let's uh, sleep, shall we? I uh, um, morning, why not? That's eight hours. Recommended amount of sleep. Perfect. Alright, come on then, Arthur. Stretch and sleep. I want to get on with uh, at least one or two missions in this episode. Now, if, if they wanted to make this truly realistic, it would be a case of when you get up, everyone's just hungover. The mission is unavailable because John Marston is hungover. And is currently throwing up in his tent. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rowing down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border? Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> now, stopping a train? Pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. All right. Still, if I remember correctly, the last time I went to town, I still couldn't find that bloody Lamat revolver. Got the Evans repeater, though. Don't want it. Not interested in getting it. Can't see myself rushing to go get it. But uh, still no Lamat revolver. The only one, the only one gun I wanted in that whole list of like PC content they're adding to console. All I wanted was that revolver. Don't know where, where it is or how to get it. Just my luck. All right, what, what have I got on the docket now? Uh, yeah, uh, I can do that. Anything? Uh, Micah, right? All right, that's a hell of a freaking trip that is. So I'll go and steal the. Wagons first, maybe catch a uh, coach, taxi, coach, coach, to uh, wherever the hell Micah is. Strawberry. I think I'm still wanted in Strawberry though. What's up? What else has happened since I played this last? I'm, I'm, yeah, I think that happened. I, I played this before I replaced my controller, so there'll be no complaints now of me going. Like, why the hell is my character doing this, or walking when he should be running, etc. Um, like, they've done in, like, I've done in a few other walkthroughs. And games in general. Like, I think it was like Jedi Fallen Order. I was going ballistic uh, in the non- when I was making the non-commentary walkthrough. Simply because my character was walking. When I was like- <coughs> When I was like trying to run away from stormtroopers. <laughs> it just- Sort of slowly, we'd be running, and then he'd walk, and then he'd run again, and I'd just be like, "What the hell's going on?" You don't see this at the movies. You don't see Obi Wan walking. You don't see there's that scene in Attack of the Clones where the Miss Windu just charges at. Um, I think it's Miss Windu. Yeah, I think it's Miss Windu. Just charges at like a, the, the the front line of the droid army, and uh, you don't see him run, then walk, hop a few steps, and then burst into like a charge again. But that's basically what I was doing in that entire game. There we go. I took the wrong turning. But yeah, that's basically what I was doing in that game. It made the boss battles a bit less uh, thrilling when the character would do this weird run-jog. 
um, like walk and jog sort of motion. All right, let's go and steal a uh, wagon. I can just jump over the. No, I can't. Oh, can I? All right. That's that's going to bother me quite a bit. Uh, okay. Uh, maintain. And I can't clean. Okay. Fine. Fuck it. Uh, got that. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, no, that's the wagon. That's the wagon. Get back here. What are you doing? No. You stupid bloody thing. Don't shoot the oil wagon. What are you doing, you crazy bastards? Oh, well, this, uh... This is not how I was expecting things to go. I'll be honest. Oh, my God. Has every wagon in that place just bolted? Is that what happened? That wagon's gone now, isn't it? Ugh. Unbelievable. But completely, absolutely completely in f like fitting with my luck, I think. Who are the chances it would bolt like that? Ah, uh, okay. Do I restart that? Please say I restart that. Alright. So, the horse bolts. I need to remember that. Maybe find a quieter way of sneaking in there and taking them out. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to. Uh, stealth isn't really my approach to in, in anything, really. No, oh, wrong way. Go around here. Yeah, this works. Slowly does it. Now go. Run like the wind, bullseye. Wait, did no one... No one take... No one took issue with this? Oh, the vehicle theft's up there, but... They seemed rather quiet when I was just driving this... Out... <laughs> out of the compound. They were like, ah, there he goes. With one of our oil wagons. Okay, I'll get this to the shed. Um... And I might be able to get over this strawberry. If not, I'll cut this short. And, uh, yeah, carry on that in the next step, so. Or it might be this, this, this. If I, if I might deliver this, it'll come for the new part of this arc, story thing, mission sequence. Because this, this is one of those missions that split into about three or four missions. Like, parts. Hey, right. Oh, awfully sorry. Oh, come on. Really? Uh, The wagon. Nobody the wagon was destroyed. The thing's sturdy. I mean, it's holding explosive... an explosive element, for fuck's sakes. It, it can survive colliding with another horse. Well, a, a horse. The wagon itself is not a horse. And I'm just babbling now. Because uh, I can't believe I fucked that up. Oh no! No! Oh my God! Wow, that uh, that went south really quickly. I'm surprised it says game over, considering there's two wagons. So you think that yeah, there'd be some leeway there, like you could just go and nick the other bloody wagon. But whatever.
Okay, this is way too many people. Oh, how was this so difficult? How was this so difficult? I got it out the first time. Oh, my God. What does that mean, skip checkpoint? Like, do I just spawn now with the... With the horse again? What does that mean? Hey! Alright, technically it's cheating, but I'll take it. This is technically how far I got the first time, so... Well, second time. Uh. It is something when I fuck up so many times, I can't remember... <laughs> Like, which, t which attempt it was that I got the furthest in. Alright, uh, let's uh, s drop this off and see what happens. Oh my god. They do, like, pack these things together, like, with a lot of stuff. A lot of steps, you think. Most games would skip over. Like, you know, if, if this was another game, you'd have John here waiting for you, and so on. And of course the horse is miles away now, so... Uh, it's times like these I miss the mechanic on GTA Online. Just be like, yo, I need help. Horse appears. Thank you. Oh, like a car appears. How far away is... Okay, that's quite a distance. Should I steal the horse? Not no. Got no option now. That's way too far away. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, it's also because I skipped a checkpoint so the horse just kind of stayed at the the oil derrick whatever you know, the oil warehouse factory whatever Ugh. Ah, just my luck. Well, I suppose there's a downside to skipping a checkpoint. And I've just discovered what the downside is. Yeah, where's that smoke coming from? Whoa! Hey! What the hell? Okay, that was worth the uh, that was worth the walk in the in the middle of nowhere, I suppose. That's the most action I've had in this game. Uh, well, in this episode, I'd say. Did not think I'd actually get to fire my gun in like a proper shootout because I wouldn't count that oil derrick, the oil I keep calling it an oil derrick, the oil factory, whatever it's called. Um, 
that I stole the wagon from to actually be a proper shootout. Considering I was pretty much... What the... Who shot? Is there another guy here? God, like it's it's like it's it's us, yeah. And then it's basically like a small army of of mercenaries we're fighting. Because these guys have, have gang hideouts and camps everywhere, it seems. Yet ours consists of one camp of uh, like what, 15, 16 people. Whereas Cole Mo Driscoll. Has uh, what, like 50 camps, <laughs> it feels like, scattered everywhere from the mountains to this place and beyond. There's probably like a, an entire building filled with those fucks in Sand and E. I uh, can't believe I have to run all the way back to camp. Just my luck. I did, weirdly, I like, got, uh, yeah. Weirdly, I've started playing this now, but earlier today, um, I did uh, this PlayStation doing this thing, like year, your year in gaming, basically, sort of sort of thing. It'll show you like how many hours you've spent gaming, um, what's your top three games, how many new games you played um, last year, and so on. Uh, what's the other one? How many trophies you got? Um, and a few other things as well. And, I, and, you, and I'll tell, it'll give you like, a title. Um, and what uh, genre was your favourite? So mine was action adventure. I had eighty. I played eighty games last year. Not a bad number. I had something like six hundred or seven hundred, seven thousand maybe, eight thousand hours of uh, gaming time. Seven hundred and thirty trophies uh, last year. Um, what else was it? Uh, I think I was like the main. Those, those are the main stats. PUBG, um, Red Dead, and Days Gone. I don't know how Days Gone made that list, but those are the top three games I spent like the most time on last year. Still can't get over Days Gone, but sure. I suppose I played the. I spent a lot of time on that survival mode, uh, doing the commentary for that and so on. But yeah, there was that. Uh, Action Hero was my title, and what's the other one? Uh, the other one I got was... Oh, that's right. You, f uh, Just by doing, taking that sort of thing and getting your stats, etc., you uh, unlock some uh, like limited edition avatars and like a PlayStation theme for your you know, PlayStation 4. So yeah, that's uh, I did that earlier, so that was pretty interesting. And I recommend it, if uh, anyone wants to check it out. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. He's like, ha <laughs> ha, uh, fuck you. Yeah, right. Oh. What's this? Abigail Roberts. Abigail needs to spit. Okay, go fishing. Hey, uh, who's there? Alright, let's go fishing, shall we? Where's Abigail? Okay, again, I, I, I reiterate my point from earlier. How did that guy escape John Marston, aka me, <laughs> like so effectively in the first Red Dead game? Uh, let's go and see Abigail. Let's see what she wants. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? 
He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What? You, wh why am I here? Can't be, couldn't we have just talked by the, uh, the wagon? God, he's miles away, that kid is. He's on the other side of the bloody camp, I think. Well, the kid can't half move. Ah, uh, now I'm gonna make an ass of myself now, trying to fish. Never quite got the, uh, the knack of it in this game. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You wanna come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're <laughs> It's about time that you started to earn your cake. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Mount your horse. Go the old. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Alright, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. A fish to catch first. Yeah. Never did figure out where the hell I go to get a storybook for Jack. You never know, I might look it up and do it in this walkthrough for a change. Okay, All let's right. do some fishing. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. I can't wait to get started. Yep, well, that's one eager kid for fishing. Uh, right, let's, uh... Let's do this. First, we need some bait. Okay, clearly I've only got cheese. Use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look! There we go. Pull him in! You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you got to be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. 
Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Stick at things, Jack. I know. And gone. All right, is this a decent fish or a small one? Uh, that looks like a small one. Well, this is clearly the spot for bluegill. Uh, okay, for this one I'll keep. food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, and wait, try not to worry. Okay, I'm going to carry on fishing until it's good for you? something happens. I guess. Hmm. I'm going to try my luck over there. What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. There, got him. Well, that could be taken in many different ways, couldn't it? Something's tugging at your rod. You still all right over there? I'm fine. Just want to catch one more, and we'll call it a day. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... Guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, this is my offer, Mr. Morgan. 
Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent Till. Uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong. Aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. Yeah, that scene's a bit weird to look at, if you think about it, because Jack's the one that kills that guy. Uh, Agent, Agent Ross, Everett Ross, uh, from the first game, I believe. Yeah, I, don't, I, I don't think he's, he's, I don't think he's with the Pinkerton Detective Agency in the first game. I think he's like an FBI agent or something Why did you lie uh, like that. Or he might be with the Pinkertons, I don't know. Because but yeah, at the end of the first game, uh, Jack shoots him. Man, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. And done. One moderately successful swimming trip right there. Swimming! There fishing! The hell am I on about swimming? Great! We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. They want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Okay, there you go. A fisher of men. All right. Well, I'm gonna call it a day on this one. I think. Now oh, look at that, John Marston's. Mission has uh, just appeared. How close are they? All right, I can do the Hosea one and the John Marston one in the in the next uh, episode. The part, rather, I'm calling them parts now, not episodes. <laughs> just yeah, less to fit into the title of the video. Uh, right.
well, that's pretty much it. Hope you've all enjoyed um, this sort of uh, car crash of an episode of like a of a walkthrough so far, of like a walkthrough part. Um, if you could leave a like, that would be very generous of you. And if you could leave a comment down below, anything you like, and I'll do my best to reply to you, uh, or just you know, give you a thumbs up, you know, give you a like. And uh, yeah, if you haven't done so already do consider hitting that uh, subscribe button because I do release things like pretty much uh, every day uh, multiple I'm trying to do multiple sort of stuff now um, so there's a lot there's like different things to choose from so hit that subscribe button and check out what's on my channel for now though that's all so until the next time look after yourself and you take care